This example will show how to find the uh, p-value for a two-sample proportion test, hypothesis test. Um, with all hypothesis tests in R, you do whatever the variable is that you're dealing with. In this case, it's proportion, and then dot test. Because it's two-sample, we have to tell it what the x values are. So let's say we have two x values, x being the numbers you actually measured or counted for your successes. Let's say in this example that the first x was 141 and the second x was 125. So I'm combining them, and that's what the C stands for, into these two values. Close that parenthesis. Then we have to tell it what our n's are. How many did we measure out of? There are two of them, so we can't just say n equals one number. We do need to do both. So again, we're combining, so the C means combine. And then 288, let's say, is one, and 216 is the other. And then the last thing you might want to, you might need to do is if your alternative hypothesis is greater than or less than, you need to do alternative equals less or greater. Um, in this case, let's say it's less. And then you hit enter, and you get the information. Um, this will have the continuity correction. If you don't want the continuity correction, you can, in fact, um, put a correct equals false. It will change your p-value ever so slightly. Um, R does this test using a chi-squared test instead of a z-test, as you might do if you did it by hand. So the most you want to actually give is just the p-value. So there is your p-value, and you can now make your determination based on your alpha level.